we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, everybody. They say that fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. And we got somebody that's conquered fear all the way around. Going from homeless. He's going to show us how he went from homeless. To wait, wait. Why you got to say like that? Homeless. Because I want to put the emphasis on homeless. <laughs> he went from homeless, what people would say was hopeless, to making his over six figures. This gentleman is going to give you some business advice on how to build the profitable partnerships with people. He's going to talk about how you can take consulting and courses to turn them into cash, even creating comic books, original comic books of your own to actually turn and convert into money making machines. It's a millionaire mindset that this man has, Mr. Daryl Darrell Darrell A of Chef Joseph's Kitchen. But first, is it time for a story? Yeah, let's go for a story because people are already here all the way from Germany. AJ is road tripping, has hashtag the home team. He, he was like, oh man, here I thought I was going to be slick and, and send the first chat. I think someone else was in there. It doesn't show on our end, but I do remember someone else being in there. And Trash Can Waves has hashtag almost first. Man, Trash Can Waves, you're going to love this episode because it's got the kick sauce, Chef Joseph kick sauce. And I know you're a, co a connoisseur of good food. He's looking for the home fries recipe. You know what? Today, he is also a master uh, recipe person. That's not what you call He's it. He's an expert <laughs> recipe development. He's a recipe expert. Recipe development expert is what he is. Everything. So y'all keep putting Certified. in, yeah, keep putting in hashtag the home team. He is so many things and he's helping you. Today he's giving away. Y'all know we have two giveaways in this one hour talk show. He is giving away a consultation valued at much more than the price you will get it for free if you win the second giveaway. Just put in hashtag the home team like Philip Waldo Jr. has done, our favorite moderator. So if you're just peeping in like Wally, do what G Mama Grows will do. Hashtag the home team. Because of course, David Hunt is in here along with Lurkin Pro. LP. Boy, LP. <laughs> so let's get into the story because yes, hashtag David Hunt has it. Hashtag the home team as well as D uh, Danique Anthony. Oh my goodness, Wally. Danique, David Hunt, all of our Caribbean folks are coming through. Of course, we've got AJ's road trip and coming in from AJ. Germany. So I say, let's get into it because you know, Wally is always talking trash, telling me that um, it's the rigged pony and the first place <laughs> pony is a good giveaway, y'all. All right, so let's get into this story. It's called Safari, a sound adventure for all righteous individuals. Oh, that and is the, the act that we have right here behind us, y'all, the album. Go ahead. It's in our past library on the safari, but today you're going to hear it live as it was told in the original story created by yours and yours truly. So let's get into this story. It's all about fear. Some people cling to their fear as, a, as, as if it's a gift. We're going to see how fear came into the world thanks to a greedy, a greedy antelope called Longhorn. You see, long ago, there was a time when every animal that walked the continent of Africa lived in harmony with one another. None, no animals hunted the other animals. There were no predators because they all survived off the plentiful grasslands and the watering holes that were in the continent. But one day, Mother Africa and Father Son got into a terrible disagreement and Father Son refused to let it rain. It's caused a drought and the grass and water began to dry up, except on the far western end of the Savannah Plains where the antelope lived. There was plenty of grass and water there, but when the other animals went to beg Longhorn, the antelope king, to share his food and water, he, would, he and his army would lower their horns and charge at the animals and drive them away. The rest of the animals met one day at a council meeting and declared that something had to be done about the powerful antelope army. The Gorilla King spoke first. Who, who, who? I say that we all attack Longhorn at once. If we fight together, he cannot beat us all. The elephant trumpeted. No, 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 Gorilla, my friend. We shouldn't waste our time in getting all bloody trying to fight the antelope. They outnumber us all. I say we capture Longhorn and we hold him as ransom until they share their food and water. The hyena chuckled at this idea. Oh, both of you have lost your minds. Who wants to get all dirty trying to fight and kidnap the, ant the antelope king? I say we simply come up with a clever trick to trick the ant antelope out of their food and water. The animals began to argue amongst themselves until finally the king of the lions roared his disapproval. Silence, all of you! Fighting, treachery, kidnapping. What use would that be to solve this problem? I say we go to someone above us. We go to someone higher. We go to Mother Africa and let her come up with a solution for Longhorn. 
The lion climbed the mountain for three days and finally he reached Mother Africa's throne. He fell before her and told her of the antelope and the other starving animals that would not be able to survive the drought that the antelope did not share. Mother Africa declared, I have had enough of Longhorn's high and mighty ways. He thinks he's better than everyone around him. And one day he'll probably charge up here with his antelope army up this mountain and tell me how to run the land. Go and tell all the other animals to meet me at the base of the great mountain. And I shall give them all a special gift. Tell every animal except Longhorn, he must learn a hard lesson. The next day, all the animals met at their appointed times at the bottom of the mountain. Mother Africa gave them all a special gift. She gave the birds great wings to fly far and high in the sky and made them rulers of the air. She gave the gorillas and apes strong hands and arms to climb trees and to live in the forest and they will rule the forest forever. She gave the elephant their great size and their tusk and strength and had them rule the grasslands forever. And she gave the, she gave the lions and the rest of the great cats their sharp fangs, their claws, speed and agility, the taste of flesh, especially antelope flesh. <laughs> she sent them away to the portions of the earth to, to, over which they were given power and made the lion the king of the animals, all the animal kingdom. The lions and great cats went immediately to attack Longhorn. And Longhorn did not know their new gift, so he sent his army upon them and watched them one by one be gobbled up by the, um, the, the lions and the rest of the great cats. Longhorn became so afraid that all he could do was run to the top of the mountain where he fell before Mother Africa and begged her for mercy. And Mother Africa laughed, ha 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 ha, Longhorn, I've never known an animal to make it up my mountain in such a short amount of time. And because of your speed, I'm going to give you a gift as well. The gift of fear. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will live in fear of being hunted by the lions and the other great cats. And that fear will cause you to run like the wind. Longhorn, you thought you were better than everyone else because of your gifts, but as it is with you, it is not with me. Now go, and may fear run with you always. And that was the end of that. <laughs> now today's guest has overcome fear, false evidence appearing real at the highest level. He's come from homeless to being to helping others start their culinary businesses with as an expert recipe development specialist. And the only time he runs like an antelope is when he's laying down on that crotch rocket that he owns. He opens it wide hey. open on the highway. Uh, Mister, wait, he has a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, because Marion is in California. Maybe he can shoot over there. Well, he usually flies. Somebody he just blew it out because y'all you know, he's an expert business developer as well so so we're gonna bring mr Darrell a in and he is the owner of chef joseph's kitchen welcome 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 good morning all right how y'all doing yep <laughs> doing great doing great you know we corey just told that story about fear and i know you talk a lot about people letting fear hold them back because for you, you are a man that you don't really seem to be afraid of a lot. You're with all the businesses that you own, uh, you always getting, we call it flued out, right? Where the people uh, send for you, <laughs> they pay for your expenses, right? And so, yeah. so tell us a little bit about fear. What, what did you want to say, Corey? Yeah, your mom grows us saying flued out. <laughs> Tell us, tell us the problem that people face with fear. And you have some interesting stories about some, a person that you met along the way uh, who's uh, the, a relative a relative of a very famous icon that we all know of and how you were able to help them to see past that fear because you've lived that and you've lived that life of becoming, you know, I'm not, you're not afraid of anything. You're just going to take what you have and use that as a resource like you did with your Chef Joseph kick sauce. Okay, tell, us what, tell us how fear can handcuff people from their dreams. Yeah, fear is um, that is one of the biggest things that that any entrepreneur uh, or person who wants to step out on what they feel that the most high has given them. And the scriptures even talk about fear not, you know, but strangely, a lot of people actually operate in fear and, um, you know, which um, which is not good. Because if you've been given something, especially from the universe, you know, with your God given, you know, your abilities. You know, you should believe in that and convert that into assets in the business. So yeah. here's my here's my question then, because we have your Joseph Chef Joseph's Kick Sauce website. I was showing that right there. However, uh -huh. you have not you're not just helping yourself, like you're not just selling hot sauce, right? You are also helping people 
so that if they need it, you have what you're calling. Well, not what you're calling. It's it's really helped a lot of people. You have so many different publications. You have Chef Joseph's The Entrepreneur Guide, The Entrepreneur's Guide. So not only can you be a millionaire and have several businesses, y'all Gail at Night is dropping his link. So if y'all are trying to follow him on Instagram, that's where you go. His info is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. But you also provide consultations for people. Tell us a little bit about, because I know with the uh, guide, it tells people like how to perfect their product and their recipe, choosing a name, your logo and design, pricing and cost and analyzation, uh, regulations and statutes. Like you aren't just giving us fluff. You aren't just giving us, you know, a little bit here and there. We can just click and get a consultation, which by the way, is the second giveaway. So stick and stay for the best one out of your day. Yes. Yeah, so y'all know Chef Joseph's giving away a, a, a free consultation today. Y'all check out the Calendly link. It does cost quite a bit. So tell us, what all are you giving people? What what makes it? Why are you helping other people instead of just, you know, helping yourself? Yeah, well, the thing was, you know, coming from, you know, my position of, you know, being homeless at one period of time in my life, you know, uh, you know, at that point, a lot of people would try my, my kick sauce. Uh, this is actually one of my ball in the refrigerator. But they would try it and they were like, you got to put that back up. Hold on. (laughs) Yeah, that's my new model. Yeah. How are you going to do that, Darrell? You can just tease us with the kick sauce. And uh, and you know we can't taste it right now. We can get it. You know what? Valerie Singleton is here. Valerie, all we got to do is go to the links in the description. And Gail is dropping those links, right? So anybody can get this. So tell us about it. Go ahead. Yeah, so definitely. So when when people would try it, um, you know, people were like, man, did you make this? And I was like, yeah, but no, I don't believe you. They wouldn't believe me and everything. But when they tried it, and then I, you know, I was able to back up information with paperwork, et cetera, on many occasions, people would ask, how did I do it? And at that point, mm-hmm. so many people came to me just like, you know, my great grandmama do a blueberry kava and this, that, you know, we make our own liquor. You know, they, it's just so many stories. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Maybe God trying to tell me something here to develop something or teach people how to do it. And that way, you know, you give a man a fish he eats for a day, you know, or one man, or you give them a fish, equal, uh, teach them to fish to eat for a lifetime. And so that was what spun into all the uh, helping others. And of course, when you help others, you in turn get, in return, get blessed yourself. This is wonderful. Yeah. Wait, Corey, because, you know, we got a doctor in the house. So Philip did ask, is that kick sauce sweet and savory or fire? And Dr. Dwayne is in here. He's an endocrinologist. So if something happens hey. to y'all, he can help y'all. All right. So yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. You were saying uh, Philip did ask, is that kick sauce sweet and savory or fire? Now, we did show y'all where to go if they want to get it because anybody can get this. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So basically, like most hot sauces, you know, it is a hot sauce, you know, so it's not mild or anything but it's not hot hot uh, the, the standard hot which is this is what we manufacture that's very is, is it has a bite to it. it has really 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 good flavor it's a mango puree with the habanero pepper so it's going to give you a nice smooth ride and spice up your food with good flavor one but we do make one hotter than this called the chef joseph's hot kicker and that mm-hmm. is about one hundred and eighty thousand uh scoville units so people who like it really really hot we have the uh, ghost pepper infused with the uh with the reaper carolina reaper so that's a cross breed between peppers in that bottle but that's another conversation for people who like hot sauce really really hot so i have a <laughs> question still has good flavor too i have a question about the the fire level that you just said because you know twp popcorn is already noticing you add value and the rest comes you just said yeah. a term. Scoville it, units. Sco, say what? Scoville units. Right. So the Scoville units, you know, K Business Podcast is a business person. So he's like, hey, wait a minute. We got somebody here helping us build our business. You've got product. You're helping us out here. So when all of these things that you're saying, Scoville units and uh, or some of the other terms that you use when you're helping people to build their business, how does that work um, when they by the entrepreneur's guide are, are, is this something that's in the book do they have to study them for themselves so that they also can find out about whatever market they're in and do you only help people in the food business so is there self-study are you hand-holding and are you only helping people in the food business yeah well my background now at this at this stage of, of business you know i i'm a i can develop any product or any idea you know, or at least I can point the people in the right direction. Uh, food and recipe development is my lane. You know, that is kind of the topic focus. For, so you can cook, fry, bake, 
food trucks, whatever you're trying to do in that sector. You know, definitely um, that market ready guide is a start for people who have products and they want to develop it. And let's just say, take it to markets and sell it, you know, make a hundred pies, sell them for $30 a piece. There you go. See, it's not really hard. We just have to transition our minds to saying, you know what, how can we, you know, monetize this product? You know, think, but we don't, we're not really taught to think that way. And I think, and you, you're absolutely right. Like I said, that entrepreneurial mindset is something that you're helping people to develop. And I think what's cool about hey, it business is, podcast, he he says he can put that on his jollof rice. And you know, he's a businessman. And he's Nigerian, so you know they like it high. Yeah, you know what? Him <laughs> and Miriam, they're both Nigerians. But you oh. mentioned... You mentioned that the, the hot sauce had a nice smooth ride. AGS road tripping those over there in Germany. So I'm like, ooh, I like a nice smooth ride. <laughs> <laughs> this, is Friday. Friday. <laughs> this is not Friday. This is not Friday. Yeah, you just saying that for Friday show. Yeah. Natural Viagra. That's what we were talking about on Friday. On Friday. But yeah, sure. Oh, is, you know what? Spice it up with Omadia is here. Hello, welcome. She's also an entrepreneur. She's a Nigerian as well. And the Nigerians are all about business. So I do yeah. love the part that you're saying about business. Oh, go ahead, Corey, because we got, she done found him on Twitter and everything. Thank you, and, Gail. And Darrell, <laughs> you got a special label on your hot sauce. It says, it's a certified certification that you are part of Virginia's finest. Certified yes. one of the finest in the state. That doesn't come easy. And we'll talk about how you got that in, on your label as we move forward through your product development for Chef Joseph's Kick Sauce. But like I said, well, Virginia's finest. Uh, I, is that only for Virginia? Because, you know, Mary Mate told you says, yes, we like it hot. <laughs> you know, she's like Nigerian. Hot, yeah. <laughs> and of course, thank you, Gail at Night, for dropping Chef Joseph's links and all of that. And while he's asking, $8 for a drink, is that just for, is that just one or a six pack? Remember, this is getting delivered. So you're, you're, a you're. Drink. <laughs> yes, he's looking at the um he was looking at the prices. I was scrolling through mm -hmm. Chef Joseph's shop. And remember, y'all, this is Chef Joseph's kick sauce. It ain't just your mama so or your grandma's corn liquor, right? So you know, right. and I do like that you also have the clutch bag because a lot of people carry the hot sauce. Right. Yeah. You have a way. So you're pro you're producing, like you're saying, different products. This is a handcrafted item. Handcrafted by some of Africa's finest people. Yes. Yeah. And so this is good stuff. Wait, what you over there rattling? You opening some more hot sauce? Yeah, yeah. These are uh, they're the leather clutch bags, and um, yeah, the kick sauce, hot sauce clutch bags. Nice. Made out of real, made out of real leather. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the uh, sapphire blue. So you actually hang this on the end of your purse or pocketbook, or you decide to just want to carry it around and it just kind of dangles down. Mm -hmm. And then we have the um, pearl. Nice. Definitely made it all the real uh, handcrafted leather, and then we have the uh, the red as well. Oh, that's a nice so, color right there. Now before yeah, we... yeah, that's that's pretty fire. Yep, <laughs> pretty fire. Hot red, pretty fire. <laughs> or you know, you get your hot sauce and Love and Live show shows up. Hey there. Hey, how they, you doing? They also create hot sauce. They have a shop and they ship theirs as well. So, thank you, Love and Live show Queen Lenora, and, and you know what? Philip notices the quality. Quality. He says not that pleather stuff. No, this real leather. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, this is straight up real authentic leather. Where you can smell it. Yeah, for real. You know, yeah. Valerie Singleton says, I spy a few stocking stuffers. Absolutely, y'all. You, you can definitely order any of these things right on the website. Gail at night is dropping the links into the chat. Chef Joseph's hot sauce is how you excuse me. Chef Joseph's kick, kick sauce. sauce is how you can find him in most places online, whether it's his website uh, and his other handles are there. But make sure you click on it, y'all. He even has an Entrepreneur's Market Ready Guide ebook. So if you are not willing to pay $8 for the drink, get the get, get the Entrepreneur Market Ready Guide ebook for $10. Then you can afford all the $8 drinks you want because Love & Live Show says, oh, I like that bag. <laughs> Before yep. I push you next, if I like to add on the on the drink and there are properties in the drink one uh, uh, they actually um, that's ginger root live ginger root real ginger root uh, you're dealing with 9.5 pH alkaline water with organic molasses mm -hmm. so it's not just a drink it's actually a health drink and mm -hmm. so um, actually the price um, is actually seven dollars so we hadn't made the adjustment yet but it's a health drink, so it's not something like a, a, a monster drink or something you just go into the store getting a soda. It's actually total alkaline water with ginger. And we, we sell a lot of units at a lot of the markets because people realize, like they told me in the beginning, you know, health may cost you a little bit. You can pay now or pay later. You know, that's it. Kind of where we at. 
Yeah. And you know, I do see here on your Instagram, Chef Joseph's ginger drink, ginger lime, yep. alkaline water, 10.4 pH, turbinado, refined sugar, 20 ounce for only $7. And of course you're showing, hey, I got real ginger in here. You know, yep. Before the Billions is in here as well. So we do want to say good morning to you Before the Billions. And of course, uh, he's an entrepreneur as well. So everyone's always wondering, how do we, how do we start these businesses? Uh, and like you said, you can market any product at this point. You've been in the game so long. Kate Business Podcast start, talks a lot about building businesses as well. But he's Nigerian, so he says, I have my hot sauce in the clutch bag for my food and hot sauce spray. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hot sauce spray too. You know what? So, this is good. So Darrell, this has been a great start, but we gotta get the show officially started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna oh, yeah. pop you back into the virtual green room. <laughs> and what we're gonna do for the for you there, we have some uh computer, some computerized chips and some uh software salsa. And you can go ahead and shake some kick sauce on that and enjoy it if you can get it out of the virtual space, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see you in a minute for the first place pony, all right? All right. Y'all know what to do. All you have to do is be sure to put in hashtag the home team because we're going to take a quick break to officially open the show. That takes about, what, 20 seconds? So that way we can get into the Let's giveaway, the first place pony. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start the show with our real talk with Intabi Design intro. All right. Let's start the show. It's another episode of a blind guy. It's why. It's why. It's why. It's Hey everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together we let you into our life live. live. Every hump day, bang, to Friday. Ooh. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Helping to change your narrative of normal by introducing you to nutritional, good nutritional health, business resources, resources and, and wealth, wealth building, building tools. Absolutely. And today we got all three in our special guests. Oh. We have someone that's working out for Looking out for our nutritional health with his ginger lime drinks mm -hmm. and the hot sauce and the kick sauce because the habanero peppers have that capsaicin that's gonna help a lot of things like circulation, like we're talking about on Friday. Help you with that Viagra. bang, yeah, yeah, natural Viagra. Because David Hunt said bang, and K Business said she felt that bang. Trust me, she stole my thunder. I felt he is a. <laughs> He's also got business resources with his educational material for entrepreneurs, and he's doing wealth building tools by encouraging kidpreneurs to start their own business. He is Darrell A. of Chef Joseph's Kitchen. We're going to bring him in to, as we talk about our first place pony. But while you're doing that, hashtag the home team. And don't forget to lay hands on the like button. Tear that, tear that like button to pieces. Absolutely. Uh, you know, On Wadia, Spice It Up with On Wadia says, let's go. So let's bring Chef Joseph's kick sauce right back in here. Welcome back, Darrell. How are you? What's going on? Yep. Ready to roll. Yep. Good to go. Well, look, I hope you're ready to roll because we got people watching from Alaska. GT Jr. is saying Junior. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> and thank you, Wally, for the reminder. K, hey, keep it clean. This is a morning show, Wally is telling him. And you know, David Hunt is saying these intros are fire. It's one of the reasons I'm a fan. Because Corey always gives a good intro, whether people are just coming in from the green room for a break or officially to tell us about his kidpreneur. Now you're teaching children, but not for free. You're getting USDA grants. That's what people really want to know. Uh, they, all... they say, okay, you look fine. Uh, you look, you know, handsome, like you look upstanding and all of that and pretty happy because you got a smile on, but, right. but how, and I don't mean no harm, but whenever I make more money, I smile more. So tell us about these USDA grants. <laughs> Yeah, well, basically, um, wow, yeah, so they explained about the USDA grants. E each state has a USDA program, you know, programs to basically either teaching, whether it's uh, for food, for various agriculture mainly. So if you can, you know, if you're growing crops, farmers, and then you can turn a product into what they call a value-added product, that mm -hmm. means taking a product from the ground, putting it in a bottle, and then from there, um, putting it in a bottle, and then you know, making money off of it, you know, bringing it to market, basically, you know, that actually um, is how you can obtain some grant funding. And I actually am part of a group called the, the Life Project. And mm -hmm. um, we basically are, um, we're um, entrepreneurs all over the country. And so we actually, uh, my part is a recipe development. You have um, a lady in California, the People's Foundation, uh, okay. Tamika, 
people's um uh, her company is seed the shirt and what she does is get organic cotton from black farmers and turn it into apparel and wow. then um and i'm the recipe developer you know from the farmers and teaching them how to do that and then you have um i think gabriel out of atlanta he does aquaponics which is basically um growing He's fish in shrimp. let me tell you gt jr does that he doesn't grow fish and shrimp but he grows uh herbs and different plants yeah. i think hold on, and hold his on. aquaponics that that uh that uh fish and the fish and shrimp they're not just growing it like on like in a pond you say it's on the roof right yeah, well they, they have containers and basically you know um pressurized containers where they actually feed them through an ecosystem and basically allow them to reproduce as they grow so you ba it's basically self-sustaining like an ecosystem you know for fish and shrimp all right for sure. And that's the other part, that's the whole USDA situation, which that's, you know, flying around the country, teaching seminars, that's where all that comes in. That's but, um, how you get flued out. Okay, because you know, we were all trying to figure out, how is he getting flued out? And there are, lots of, <laughs> there are lots of people like GT Junior, G Mama Grows, there are lots of people that are in the gardening and growing community. Oh wait, he says, I, I do hydroponics, not aquaponics. Yeah. GT Junior was correcting me. Yeah, okay, so yeah. GT Junior. He's gonna explain it, go yeah. ahead. If you reach out to me, um, you know, through uh, go to the website, go to the email, then I can actually pass you some of that information because with our group, we are a national group. And that's the whole, you know, when you look from coming homeless and spinning it into the product, which y'all are talking about, and then you look at how it expanded into the USDA the hydroponics, there's a lot of uh, funds and resources out for people who do growing. So hydroponics, that was in our board. We had a, a Zoom a board meeting about that. So we may can feature you on one of our national um, podcasts to get your stuff out there, you know, even further. So okay. wait a minute. You know what? This is so good because we have GT Jr. talking to you. And look, he he. this is what he said. He said, bet that, sir, because we have your website right here where yeah. we go to chefjosephskicksauce.com. Simple, easy. We scroll all the way to the bottom. And that is where once we get past your Chicago, original Chicago style kick sauce um, and all the other delicious things you're telling us how it works, we can browse the shop. Your information is right under the testimonials. We can email you right there. Support at Chef Joseph's Kick Sauce, but not we, y'all. Only GT Junior got a personal in invite, okay? Look, the rest of y'all got to win the second. And I know I'm getting gonna giveaway. get nailed for this. I know I'm gonna. <laughs> I looked at your website. Come on, Philip. Come on, David. Uh oh, they I, always say Corey can see. Y'all know I, Corey cannot see. His eyes don't work. I'm gonna simple check. I looked at your website, and one of the <laughs> best reviews you could have got is that you bought a bottle of the Kick Sauce for this uh, person that owned the restaurant to try and it never made it to the table. It went straight home and he said it was consumed. <laughs> <laughs> the family enjoyed it so yeah. much. So, yep. so you got a lot of satisfied customer reviews <laughs> on it. And not only, again, not only does he have his kicks off, he also has food trucks and he's even got on his educational material a way to trick out your truck. Basically, it's not called that, but it's a, <laughs> it teaches you what you need to convert your um, vehicle into a food truck. So if you're interested in starting a food truck business, Chef Joseph is your man. So design. wait a minute. I mean, you not mean, Chef Joseph, the rail of Chef Joseph's Kitchen is you your man. You mean when they go to his website and they go to Entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. what they do is there's a link there right above i'll show you all there's a link right above where it says chef joseph's uh, entrepreneur guide there's a link right here that's how you get a consultation with him so that you can figure out how to set up and brand your food business how to develop your recipes and value added product or how to trick your truck how to build your first truck or food trailer aka how to trick your truck go ahead darrell you were going to say something go and i think we cut you off Okay, I'm trying to think what it's about, but yeah, we do uh, food truck consultations as well. And uh, that's a pretty big business. People like, you know, food and then you have a lot of foodpreneurs who who want to know the knowledge and the step by step process of how to do it. A lot of people have the ideas, but they don't know the know how to go about doing it. Right. And, and basically everything that you're telling us right now, because the people are excited, everybody's listening in. But what we're really hearing about is about those profitable partnerships that you've made when you talk about the group. Um, where you have people in California buying cotton and then creating apparel with it and they're sourcing their, their ingredients and they're sourcing their products from different places and working together. These are the partnerships that you're building. When we take this course with you, do we get tapped into these groups or do we have to show and prove? 
you know, like, do people have to just get a consultation with you by the guide or do they have to, you know, put in some action? Because we don't want people to be, be fearful, but we also don't want them to be trifling or lazy or I don't know how to put it. <laughs> you tell me. And, and that's one of the things that I've seen, you know, is that, you know, a lot of people want to know how you did it, what you did, you know, how, you know, all the intricate details. But yet to come to the table, you have to be ready. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. the next thing. You know, and, um, you know, like TDJ said, get ready, get ready, you know, stay ready. You don't have to prepare. You're already ready, basically. Exactly. Um, so that's my biggest thing is that people that are serious about their craft and especially when you talk about national platforms and stuff, when people want to know what you are, they should be able to go and click and, you know, read up on what you're doing, not just talk or lip service. Absolutely. You know, I, I do want to get into the first place pony. So while you're answering this last question before the first place pony, answer hashtag the home team. Y'all hashtag the home team. Answer this about profitable partnerships. You said that when you came here, you were homeless. And you said that when you came to this area, Virginia Beach area, you said that you knew that there were people in the homeless shelter and there were resources that could springboard you to where you needed to be with this business. Tell us a little bit about that while they put in hashtag the home team. Yeah, definitely. So um, before I left where I'm from, the Blue Ridge Mountains area, um, I, you know, did research because a lot of times people think when you move, you got to have all this money and all that, which is cool if that's what you got. But coming from where I came from, I didn't have a, you know, you know, I didn't know the area. And plus, you don't know where to move to. So I was always told by some wise advisors that if you ever want to relocate, the smart way to do it is one, find a homeless shelter and two, find a good church, you know. And so because the homeless shelter, one, you know, you got, you know, a place to lay your head, you got food, you know, and you got resources to point you to the right direction. Yes. And then the churches, of course, you know, for those who are believers, you know, you have your spiritual worship, too, and you can also network through the ministries. And so that's what I did for several years. And then I was able to um, move up out of that and go back to the same shelters that I was employed, that I was homeless in. And now I employ people from those shelters as well. Wow, you know what? So now this is good. Just on, give it and he'll give it back to you. That's <laughs> it, that's it. Give it and he'll give it back. You know, EK Kai Media is uh, saying good morning to everybody now. EK is from Kenya. He in is. Texas. He lives in Texas right now. Yes, I was trying to make, put you right back in Kenya. I know. I'm trying to put him back in Jamaica. Make sure you put in hashtag the home team because it's not rigged. Even though me and Wally go back and forth with this giveaway, it is not rigged. He's also uh, saying real barbecue. Him and Philip because they're talking about these different things uh, that you just said. You know about hey, in order to get these partnerships going, you because of course your goal was to have your sauce for real barbecue, real fish, real whatever people were putting it on, right? But you said, OK, I have to go where the resources are. And so you've been hiring people from wherever you were, like Adrian Ash right now. She's in California. Right. And so she's one of those people. She has degrees and everything that she's a lady. She might not want to go to a homeless shelter. Does it matter if you're a man or a woman? Would you because, you know, Adrian's a pretty, a pretty lady, beautiful, gorgeous. Right. And you're yeah. handsome, but you're also a man. Y'all can do some things that we ladies can't do. Is this information for it? advice for anybody? Would you say, look, go to the homeless shelter, get the resources and use them because it'll really help you get to where you're going. Definitely. And the way things are now, and I, and I am definitely, um, I guess you could say an advocate or I am all about uh, women's security, period. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just where I'm at in my life, you know, that they need to be protected first. And so, yes, the way they have done it now, from the last time I've checked, they've, um, at least in Virginia Beach, they've separated the shelter where you have the women in one whole building and you have the men in one whole building. And uh, and from there, they can focus. And that's the biggest thing that I would say that if anybody ever chose to go that route, mm -hmm. some people just go without a plan. They just live there and just, you know, eat and just go to bed. And I, I've slept beside many in rooms with, with, with people who didn't have their lives together. Then you have brothers and sisters that have plans, you know what I'm saying, that know, look, this is just a temporary dwelling place. I'm out of here, you know. Um, and so, yes, you I would say you were an entrepreneur going into this. You were an entrepreneur pretty much. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Because I knew when I moved here to the beach, I knew that I was moving into a shelter. There were times that I had uh, slept in my van when I thought that I had enough resources to get out there working a temporary job and then the job lays you off and then you're back, you know, sleeping in your van. But it's summertime, you know what I'm saying? So slept by the beach and there are times I didn't have nowhere to go. When a van broke down, I slept in the emergency room on several occasions, you know. Mm -hmm. And what I will say that anyone on this live or anywhere, if they're desiring to do anything great, 
they must know that they must be prepared to go through the fire, period. There's no free ride in any of this. It sounds good, yes, but the backstory, you know, sleeping in hotels, you know, when you didn't have money and dead broke, this is my last $70 and I need a place to stay, it's raining outside and, you know, God, I'm spending this money and that's all you have. And then you wake up at five in the morning, you got PayPal sales. So I'm able to make hot sauce in hotel rooms to fulfill orders. You know, wow. that's part of the story too. Yeah, that was before I met where I'm at now. Yes. You know, so many times I've had hotel rooms where I had to make my sauce because, you know, I had to pay for a place to stay. So it really was a big springboard. And so from there, that's how everything spiraled up with us. Well, you know me, I can't keep nothing straight. I, you told me not to tell this the real, but I'm going to have to tell it. I don't see no comments, see, Phillip, as see, you can see. See that that hot sauce, uh, that hot sauce uh, um, clutch bag. Yeah, that was just, that was inspired by the thong he used to wear for the bachelorette parties when he was you know trying to get extra money. You know, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he didn't do that, y'all. But he's telling y'all, you know, true facts. So he said he's done it. He's been homeless, and then he's helping people who are homeless by employing them. It's real doing great things. We got more to come, but we got to get these horses running in this first place pony. Absolutely, he's showing y'all the the bags because Love and Live Show says I agree with Joseph. You will go through the storm to get to the next level. So we're going to try to make sure that Wally wins this first place pony because Wally is telling Adrian Nash that nobody was supposed to know it's his birthday today. So, oh. yeah. So I don't you know. Sing a happy birthday song. Baby. I know. Right. So let's get into it. Let's do the first place pony. So Darrell, I'm going to make a horse race announcement. When I say bring, when I make that gate sound bring, then you're going to say and they're off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the blind guy. His wife, their life, live. Put this in there. First. Adrian's biscuits are burning. I understand what it's like to be in the fire. <laughs> Put that in the first place. <laughs> oh, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Welcome to another run of the blind guy. His wife, their life, live. First place, Pony Derby. All the jockeys are mounted behind the gate and ready to ride. Darrell. What do you say to someone like Adrian Nash whose biscuits are burning because they ate too much kick sauce and they're running for the water or the milk? Bring! And they're all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's make sure we draw. Philip Waldo Jr., Danique Anthony, Love and Live Show, uh, G Mama Gross, TWP Popcorn, AGS Road Trip, and Philip Waldo Jr., TWP Valerie Singleton, Danique Anthony, AGS Road Trip, and Love and Live Show. Didn't fit hot! Hey, what? How did it work? <laughs> all right. A Caribbean, he's Trinidadian, actually. He so he has won in place of Came look, riding out of Massachusetts on a one horse open sleigh and still won the race. <laughs> Miriam tried it, but you know what? She's like, why am I late? Look, GT Jr. is just laughing in the trash can. It's like, David Hunt again? Look, they are winning out here. And of course, uh, trash can is also laughing at David Hunt. Uh, Mary is saying congratulations. And so Wally says his birthday is not today, Corey. So we'll see. We'll see. Is it really today or what? Let's get it in, Corey. Go ahead and let's have uh, David. Wait, we got to give his acceptance speech. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> David Hunt won, so he's talking trash. <laughs> so, Darrell, can you say congratulations to David Hunt for being the first place pony? Congratulations, David. Yep, for being the first place. Yep, congratulations <laughs> to you. <laughs> nice. All right. We're going to put you back into the green room. We're going to take a quick coffee break to say thank you to our sponsors. And to continue, then we'll bring you back in to finish out this great interview. Hey, we're talking about a millionaire mindset. We're talking about how he's derailed went from the homeless to helping people as an uh, expert recipe and food the development uh, expert that he travels the country, gets flewed out. By the US said it was rigged, by the way. And, you know, I meant to say hello to Audrey's living life. I know she put in the hashtag the home team earlier. So, hey there, Audrey. So we're going to put him in. We're going to take a coffee break and we'll be right back with more great information. See you soon. All right, Chef Joseph. All right. All right. Y'all, this is good, good, good. And Kay is asking, what's in the green room, Corey? <laughs> but the, oh, also, David Hunt said, thank you. Thank you very much. In the green room is some computer <laughs> chips and some software salsa. He's going to add some kick sauce to it. Yep. Y'all make sure you follow him. Gil is dropping all of his links. They are already in the video description. But of course, if you're watching live, you can always click the links. If you're watching on the replay, you can do the same thing. And anybody can get this worldwide. He's doing consultations, but we're doing a free consultation on the re on the second giveaway. Well, right now we're gonna take a coffee break to say thank you to our sponsors. Hey, if you wanna be down with the blind, blind guy, his wife, their life home team, and you wanna give us a virtual tip through our Buy Me A Coffee platform, you can just go to our website, blindguyhiswife.com, and there you can click the green coffee cup 
So she can say, what you doing? And I can say, girl, you know what I'm doing. I'm fitting to stir it like uh, shit, like Dick Durrell and Chef Joseph and make my own kick sauce. Click, 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 click. Okay. Stir it like coffee. Yes, you can join the home team. Go to blindguyhiswife.com, scrolling at the bottom of the screen along with our sponsors. Click the green coffee cup. It does open a widget. Corey has been blind over 25 years. So we always, instead of choosing one, three or five coffees, we put in 25 as an example. So, of course, we thank Zenobia Ridley, Sheila uh, Ingram, Bravo with Sheila, Ladies Less Chat, my Renaissance grandma, Sharon Marie Watson, and all of you. Y'all know it's holiday season. Get your own coffee. Scroll right down there to Roll Java Blends. Right Premium there. coffee blends, specialty coffee blends, and they're freshly ground and roasted and ground the day that your order is made, delivered right to your door. Free shipping in the United States. How do we get to our other sponsors so that we can properly say thank you to them. This Look, broad- wait, Kate talking about ha ha. Corey don't play the way you was stirring it up. <laughs> <laughs> this broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following sponsors. All right. Unmuted thank- sponsors. Unmuted sponsors. We are so excited about having sponsors. So we appreciate every last one of you. And I think they are unmuted. So let me make sure I, um, you know, share them with the rest of the folks here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait, what response was that, Corey? That's not them. <laughs> <laughs> this broadcast is powered by StreamYard and by the following sponsors who pay for promotional consideration. Oh, wait, now it's playing without the people seeing it. Let me get him over there. There it is. Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme sponsor, Black Heist, advancing your career. Check out his YouTube channel. New sponsor, My Renaissance Grandma. Check out her YouTube channel. Wishlist sponsor, Tasha Oshi Grove. Check out her YouTube channel. Wishlist sponsor, Sharon Marie Watson. Check out her YouTube channel. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, Corey, we got Adrian Nash and uh, Wally in there acting up. I think Wally is is trying to keep her in check. But, you know, Trash Can Waves is just looking. Well, guys. Oh, you know, we didn't say hi to Nikki. The everyday life of an OCD is check. I in the house. Absolutely. One of our favorite people. And guys, I want to give you a heads up. Come in on Friday because we're going to talk about how to make that natural Viagra so that you can get your bang, bang, bang going on. So like trash can. I got the perfect gravy to go with them biscuits, Adrian Ash. (laughs) (laughs) As I say, we're going to show you how you can keep raising the flag and keeping the floodgates of heaven open by just simply eating. So without pills. So we're going to talk about it on Friday. So that's oh. your prelude. But I can't Wait a minute, Corey. Mm-hmm. You know, what you said about uh, Chef Joseph earlier, I mean, one of the comments that Chef Joseph made earlier, EK Kai Media is saying, uh, 5919, when the enemy comes in like a storm, the spirit of the Lord raises a standard and raises a standard, the power of his might. I just got a revelation from that interview. So y'all, Chef Joseph is laying well, it down, bringing the word today, doing all kinds say, of good stuff. I didn't say he laying it down. We just talking about natural bag. Oh, oh. Bad time. Okay, that didn't match up. <laughs> y'all go to Lady V's uh, shop. Uh, my Renaissance grandma, bring her in and that brings it back to church. Okay, right. we got it. <laughs> So thank you for joining on this episode of Blind Guy. His wife. Life live here for, you, here for you every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. K Business Podcast said he'll be here Friday. <laughs> so I'm about to say Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bringing you great information about new- and resources about nutritional health, business resources, and, and wealth building tools. tools. And we do that with fabulous guests like today's fabulous guests. Mm. They say, Weezy and them said that fish don't fry in the kitchen, beans don't burn on the grill. But our guest has something that will make you pull out that pan and that hot grease and put something all over it to kick it up a notch. This man has more culinary and recipe development skills than Uncle Ben's and Aunt Jemima put together. This brother is a kick sauce business that is so powerful, so powerful that even the heart shaped herb has been included in this kick sauce. Let me look at that recipe. 
you will definitely eat this kick sauce and go back to the ancestral plains and thank your great, 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 great grandmama for this man's, for all her recipes that you can add this man's kick sauce to. If you're looking to trick out your truck and turn it into a food truck or trick out your trailer and turn it into a food trailer, this man has the business savvy that outshines Colonel Sanders and any of these other, any of these, uh, these other restauranteurs that have ever been around. This brother is a powerhouse, a powerhouse who knows no fear. He took the bite out of the alligator and the sting from a bee. You got to be an ignorant person to mess with this man whose name starts with D. <laughs> it's time for today's featured guest, Darrell of Chef Joseph's Kitchen. Hey, welcome welcome back in, bring him back in. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> so here's the thing, Darrell. We've been talking, of course, the everyday life of an OCD is chick is uh, laughing. GT Jr. is like, wow, you know, David Hunt, say it, Corey. <laughs> They're all excited because, of course, David Hunt's going to be here Friday for that conversation. But for today's conversation, we've been talking about how you've done consultations and courses. People know they can go to your website, Chef Joseph Kick Sauce, and they can go to the entrepreneur uh, uh, links so that you they can figure out how they can take courses on recipe development, mm -hmm. on uh, food truck development. And even if they have children that have a culinary skill or interest in culinary arts, they can sign sign the children up for kidpreneurs. You've been flewed out all across the country by the USDA. Uh, teaching people how to add, create value added products. So if they're a farmer like GT Junior or G Mama Grows, if they have food in their gardens, they can turn it into a value added like you turn your, uh, you create the uh, kick sauce that you have. But, you, but you're also on Virginia's Finest, which is a, a website that we all can't just get onto. And this is from some of your connections with some of these famous folks. And this gentleman, so Joe Chef, so Darrell, you have actually helped someone turn their chili recipe into something that will make their uh, ancestors <laughs> proud. Can you tell us a little, little bit about that story of helping out with the chili recipe? Yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't go through with it. Um, I'm actually friends with uh, the, you know, everybody know Aunt Jamama, you know, the real Aunt Jamama before it became commercialized. I had the privilege some years ago of meeting um, the niece of her. I think it's a great niece. She's the second great niece. I guess that'll be the great niece. And, um, you know, I won't call her name, but they're down in Reesville, North Carolina. And so I actually met Denise and um, she said, yeah, we got to talking and they, you know, she told me the whole story that, you know, they even have the aprons and the real stuff that they have, you know, when she was cooking in the kitchen. Aunt and, Jemima. Um, yeah, Aunt Jemima, yep, the, the pancake and salt lady. And the great niece makes chili, uh, dirt chili. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? You know, you, you've been praying for a solution because she teaches school actually. And I was like, you know, do you realize you can develop this chili that you've been making that you sell out just on the local level, just to family members? If you just put that chili out there and just put the name and the niece of the legendary of Angema, your life would change overnight. And she literally, uh, back to that fear word, just broke down and cried. And she was like, I know she just didn't know what to do. It was just like, just stuck. I said, but you've been praying for an answer, but this is the answer. So some people, like I said, again, they be sitting on million dollar tickets, but yet, you know, they don't uh, capitalize on it. And I take that very serious because the bottom line is from the beginning, this is what we can do. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, we can do a lot of different talents, but along the way we've been, you know, basically told, okay, let me get my talents over here when you can create your own. And that's, that's the real truth. I love that you say don't be fearful because when I uh, met you at VegFest, I was there for some plant-based foods, right? Foods that did not contain animal products. And mm -hmm. you were there and you said, I, I sell everything, but I saw this was a veg fest weekend. So I said, let me sell what the people want. So right. when you're consulting people or when they're taking your courses or they're buying your entrepreneurial guide, is that something that they're they're learning give the people what they want because i noticed on your instagram you have some beautiful dishes right and mm -hmm. so it looks like and it's a there's such a variety of things so how does how does that work should we give the people what what they want should we follow our ticket or are you the one that helps us to bridge that because when we you know book you or when we buy your guide that's part of your expertise 
Definitely, you know, and and again, I'm, I'm not the best chef in the world. I am a certified chef and paperwork and serve safe manager, you name it, um, the uh, degrees to go behind it. But that's that's a really good point. I'm glad you brought that out because see, there are different levels in this type of line of work because you have products and services. Like if you have a product or a pie or a cake, you can take that lane. You know, if you, like you say, you're a chef and you want to depend on what level of chef and you want to do, which those are the pictures there. I can chef that way as well. That's more like catering style yes. slash banquets. And then at the same time, the third lane, you have food trucks. So you can simplify your recipe by volume and then take it to the market and, you know, serve, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand people at $10 mm. a book. You know? Yeah. So, um, so it can spin that way too. So it is up to what that person decides to do. And the cool thing about the food trucks, uh, as since you mentioned it, is that <laughs> we've run into several people that have food truck businesses. They actually will take the food truck out during the week and use that food truck to actually serve the thousands of people for lunch or dinner, with it, you know, wherever they're at. But then they take that same food truck on the weekends and use that as their mobile kitchen for catering events. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of ways you can go with that. And like I said, if you want to get any information, go to ChefJosephKickSauce.com. Gail has, it, has it there, yes. And then book yourself a consultation. But we're going to give one away from Chef Joseph. Oh, yes. We're Chef giving away a consultation. So hashtag Chef Joseph. Yep. Chef Joseph with an S on Joseph's. Joseph, all right, because it's chefs, Chef Joseph. Y'all look at the look at the screen. Just look at the screen. Read it. Speaking <laughs> Speak of the screen, I know Adrian Nash was called a trash can incorrigible, incorrigible. But he says, yeah, oops, oops, yes. He says, education is fundamental. <laughs> Don't mind me. I love the consistency here. Always a great show. I will not do them the disservice of telling them to never change because I can tell their work ethic is incorrigible at its best. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what. <laughs> so he's over there talking trash to everybody. And Philip's like, there you go, trash can. But mm -hmm. you know what? Adrian's correcting him. Incorrigible, incorrigible is incapable of being corrected or amended. Now, let me ask you this, Chef Joseph. Have you come across people that, you know, you're trying to help them out? You're, they're ta they've taken your, they've gotten consult consulted by you. They've taken your, you know, courses or what have you. They've done all the things and they still don't change. They can't be corrected or amended. How does that work? Yeah, yeah the, the first thing is they have to believe in, in themselves. That's mm -hmm. one of the key things. And no matter how much a person, you know, talks about it, but they have to believe in what they have. And um, I've seen many, you know, they just some, somehow just get discouraged. I think discouragement sometimes sets in, especially looking at your environment. You know, depending on if you have a great idea, you can't share those great ideas with ordinary mindset people. Okay. Because, you know, if you're not careful, they will sit the discouragement in and next thing you know, it, you, you get down on yourself, you know, and then it's like you don't fulfill what you're supposed to do when at the same time you could have created a six figure business, et cetera, or, you know, just made a dollar period, and, you know, be a little bit more freer than you were, you know, situation. <laughs> And speaking of nice. expanding your business, you also have done, you also in the business of uh, encouraging <laughs> kidpreneurs, kids that have uh, interest in the culinary arts, encourage them to start their own business. You've done that with comic books. So you're like the Stan Lee of <laughs> the kidpreneur uh, genre with your own, your own kidpreneur hero named Bam. Tell us a little bit about the Bam comic book series. Yep, so Bam um, is on the website as well. It was inspired okay. by and this is actually what he looks like from the beginning. It's a six series comic book. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And this is the BAM Origins series. And uh, yeah, it's a little BAM series one. <laughs> so yeah, so basically um, this is this was inspired by, um, I was swimming laps one day and I, for some reason I was like, I love to swim. And I was like, why am I thinking about BAM BAM? You know, just from the Flintstones, I kept thinking about BAM BAM, BAM BAM BAM. That's one of the kidpreneur seminars, by the way, too. Um, mm -hmm. I was thinking about BAM BAM, and I just couldn't figure it out why. So I make my own seasoning, as you see it on the website. And what happened was I used to take it on the bases. And so the customers, they would come just with the French fries, with, and they would be like, man, give me some of that BAM. Then one of my employees, they were like, some BAM, you want some BAM? BAM, BAM, BAM. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm thinking about BAM. I'm listening to these people talking about BAM. Bam, bam, bam. So it just clicked. And then that's when the Chef Joseph's Bam got started. He's actually on my shirt too, as you see. Yes, <laughs> I see it. That's nice. And I saw him on the food truck as well. 
<laughs> yeah. And so, and that's what inspired the story. So that is uh, all the youth. Um, that is a six series comic book talking about, um, you know, how he became a little chef. He won the um, culinary competition family at the family reunion. Mm -hmm. And then he was able to basically pay his mother's bills off and then buy his own little kick sauce manufacturing. Uh, we'll be setting up a seminar, a kidpreneur is the first of the year, uh, probably sometime in February, March. And so I'll make sure you all have the information um, for the Chef Joseph's Kidpreneurs. It's only for children. You know, nice. uh, you know, of course, if parents can come as well. But from seven to seven to like maybe 15 is like mm -hmm. the age ranges. And you'd be surprised at the uh, children that have a lot of questions. because A lot of them love food. And they like to cook, too. So, right. Wow. So, you know, I do have here a comment from XDMC. X -E -P -E -P -E -P -D -M -M -C. <laughs> He's all in the lab talking about what spices and sauces do you have there in the back of you? I know that's not food. I know that's not food at your workstation. We can't have that. <laughs> well, this, this is just, uh, these are empty bottles. A lot of times I have, um, I do a lot of visionary work board, uh, just, you know, for my own vision. So, oh, you smell Bell, these, okay. These are menus. And that's you talking about all of these. <laughs> What is it? Yeah, this is my workstation. So I, I keep yeah. menus and stuff in the back. Menus and whatnot. Yeah. Fish and yeah. shrimp. Yep, exactly. I have tons of menus in the back. And so, um, yeah, so I kind of, this is kind of my workstation, my desk and where I'm putting together everything I need to put together. And I keep empty bottles and stuff as a reminder of, you know, of the Chef Joseph's company. Yeah, right. Yeah, That's just keep the dream alive in your mind, you know? Mm-hmm. So definitely, like I said, we actually, you've been giving a lot of value. You know, you've created that value added product with your kick sauce and you've been adding value to this whole uh, live stream today. We got to do another giveaway. This is for a free consultation, 30 minute consultation with shit with the rail of chef Joseph's kitchen to get you on the way with, if you are into food development, recipe development or whatever your product may be, he can help you out with that. And as y'all see, he has so many different products. Of course, here, with the BAM uh, comic book series, you get the six series comic book pack. You can get all of these things right on his website. So this is just uh, wonderful. But the giveaway today does include a consultation. And I think you said that with the consultation, that is where they will get the entrepreneur guide. Is that right? Yeah, well, for paid consultations, yeah, yes. they will get the entrepreneur guide. And this consultation so that, that they will win today. Say that again. <laughs> What'd you say? Right. I'm sorry. So for today, today they get their free consultation. Yeah. If they get if they'd like to purchase a consultation, they will get the entrepreneur entrepreneur's guide along with the paid one, right? Exactly. And plus I'll give them an hour of my time from start to finish, where to go, who to call. I mean, it's definitely a good investment and it and that will come with um, thank you. Appreciate it, <laughs> brother. Uh, XD. Design looks DXD. awesome. DXD. Yeah. Yeah. I've done a lot of menus real quick. So, yeah, these are, yeah, I got tons and tons of these things. Oh, yeah. So, are you designing these or are other people designing these? How does that work? I design, I design my own menus. Wow. And as you see, vegan samplers for the raw vegans. We got, um, this is one of my top popular ones here, too. We're spinning around. Oops. Yeah. There we go. And just so you guys know that uh, Chef Joseph's Kitchen is not just a one man band. He has a team, a staff that uh, make sure he's from event coordinating and planning nice. all the way up to the food truck operations. So it's an entire team that's headed up by this. I'm going to call him the speed demon himself on that bike <laughs> out there. He's tearing up the road, not just on his motorcycle, but he's tearing up the road touring and giving people lots of good advice about being entrepreneurs. So we're about to give you an opportunity to- The prices are affordable that. too, y'all. Y'all see that? So we're about to What's that? Oh yeah, oh the prices, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the prices on what? The menu? Yeah, the menu. It's affordable because these are these are menu boards that we would see at a festival or somewhere. And y'all know they up price everything at a festival. But this stuff is affordable. So I like this. And you know, the everyday life of an OCD is chick is like, yep, nice menus. Adrian Nash was like, oh, so cute. Look at that baby cooking. Talking about bam bam. <laughs> yeah, bam. Yeah, bam tight. Yeah, yep, yeah, for real. And that's what we like to do is turn it into an animated series. You know, yeah, that's definitely been in the brain. So just connecting with the right people.
Yeah, and, we, um, we were talking before the broadcast, and I'll explain to you the the brother the brother X DMC uh, later on when we're off camera. So that's, that's a cool conversation to have right now. Let's do the giveaway because folks are even well talk productions is in there so you know we got to do this giveaway look at trash can talking about yeah baby oh, yeah boy ribs so good make you want to slap your mama he was looking at those menus reading right. everything and look phillips is trying to say you was reading wait a minute corey started reading the menu <laughs> corey cannot see y'all his eyes don't work <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count down three, two, one, and then you're gonna and uh, Darrell, you're gonna say Chef Joseph's Kitchen. Okay. All right. So y'all, this is it. Now Gail asked which one it is. I told y'all make sure you put the S on it. So this way everybody knows uh, they're in. It's not me. I didn't rig it. Chef Joseph's. You don't have to put the apostrophe, but I'll show you on the screen right now. Go ahead, Corey. You're gonna say it. Hopefully they already put it in and we can give away this consultation. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, and the one. All right. Forgot the, <laughs> forgot the word. Chef Joseph's Kitchen. Oh. Chef Joseph's, yep, Kitchen. All Sorry. Right. All right, no problem. I'm hitting it right now. G Mama Grows, XD, MC, Audrey, uh, Audrey's Living Life, Valerie Singleton, We'll All Talk Productions, Everyday Life is No CD Shook, SDMC, G Mama Grows, Philip Aldo Jr., X. You can opt to it. You might gift it. You can gift it. Yes, because you know David Hunt is in there saying Chef Joseph's uh and Philip Waldo Jr. as well. Love and Live show. She also has a hot sauce as well. GT Jr. Mm-hmm. Philip Waldo says he did some of those Thursday. Uh, talking about uh, what, Ribs. yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah. And so, XDMC, let us know because Audrey's Living Life is saying congratulations, as well as the everyday life of an OCDS chick and Love and Live show. Of course, GT Jr. is congratulating you as well. You know, uh, Adrian Nash is impressed. A man who can cook is hot. Tell a friend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, you didn't win no food. XDMC talking about, oh, yeah, I want some food. <laughs> no, what you want is a free consultation, 30 minute con business consultation. <laughs> yes, don't worry, XDMC. Yes, you want some food. We'll send you the hot sauce. So don't worry, we'll ship you some. Uh, but you did win a free consultation. If you'd like to take it, you can use it for yourself. You can gift it to someone else. I know you've got children graduating from college, they could use this business uh, savviness. How, and you know how kids don't listen to their parents, even though we know what we're talking about. So you can do whatever you want, keep it or gift it. But either way, we got hot sauce coming your way as well. <laughs> now, why XDLC is putting his decision? I got to ask you the toughest question of the day. Don't tell him, have. Trash Can. He says, winning tip. The most active one in the chat is always the winner. No, because <laughs> XDLC was quiet. So that can't be it. So Darrell, what fruits best and vegetables have you eaten today or do you plan to eat today? Ooh, vegetables. I do plan to eat vegetables today. And today, the vegetable of choice would be asparagus for me. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, Corey yeah, enjoys this. It's real good. Yeah. Especially off the grill. Mm hmm. So, you yeah. top it with some kick sauce or some bam seasoning? Oh, uh, the sauce is good. Yeah, the sauce is really good. It's got good flavor. Yeah, so the sauce will definitely go good. All right, all right. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to put you back in the green room. Hang out there for a minute, and we'll talk to you when the broadcast officially ends. I know. Because it's asparagus. It's now time for today's plant based treat by Chef LaQuinn Marie. All right. You know, Miriam is excited. And of course, oh, we, for, we did forget, but we'll ask him later his feelings on Oprah. I, I'm just going to say he loves it, trash can, because uh, he's a country boy. I'm, you know, he's from the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains. They love Oprah over there. I think I hope yeah, you didn't make stuff up. Now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make stuff up, man. You gotta make your story stick. We're here to help you get your faves in fruits and vegetables every, every spread. spread. So definitely, <laughs> we're not uh, vigilantes. We are not fruit hoodlums. Ma yeah. Matter of fact, okra is a fruit, David Hunt. And we're not summertime security, mealtime marines, or plate popo. We are, as Wally calls us, plate advisors. Absolutely. So here we go with the plant-based treat of the day that you can put hot sauce on. Kick Chef, sauce. You could put Chef Joseph's kick sauce on. Oh, bam season. I messed up the whole man's uh, food. Let me stop talking. Go ahead, Corey. You can, this would be great to add <laughs> Chef Joseph's kick sauce or bam seasoning too. It's one of our favorites here in our house and many other people have enjoyed it as well. All right, the queen agree. Oh, wait, XMT says, who wants me to give this consultation to them? Ladies only. Ladies only. Wow. All right, y'all. Look at the plant-based treat, and y'all ladies can fight over that. Here we go. Easy three-step chicken. 
We have all yellow and white vegetables like onions, garlic, yellow squash, rutabaga, parsnips, and cauliflower. We're gonna get our rutabaga started. Chop veggies, cook in water about 20 minutes. Rutabagas provide almost a complete protein and they have important minerals that help create and maintain bone tissue. Yo, that's good. I don't know what's in that. The texture, everything. It's even got like a little flavor with it. I don't know, sauce or something and it tastes like chicken. Like, it even feels like chicken chewing through it, so I was surprised. Season them a lot, Perret wants their sauce. I'm gonna add some salt to our vegetables. I'll also add some of this vegetable broth and seasoning. My Cooking with Greens brand ranch seasoning. Then I'll get this all blended up. I use my hand mixer. Onions lower blood pressure, regulate diabetes, and reduce hardening of the arteries. They have antioxidants like vitamin C to fight colon, prostate, lung, and brain cancers. I only need about six cups of this vegetable mixture. Parsnips are high in vitamin C and antioxidants to help your overall immune function and your health. Prevents chronic conditions like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. That's the main ingredient here, vital wheat gluten. Sulforaphane is a powerful phytochemical found in certain vegetables that neutralizes toxins, reduces inflammation, protects your DNA, and slows tumor growth. Two cups of the vital wheat gluten. This is really good. It tastes like chicken salad. Mm. It's got the cucumber, the mustard, the mayo. I'd buy this. It's so good. So much flavor. It tastes like it tastes like chicken. A couple more cups to finish this off. It's good. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess it in the mayonnaise. Spread more flavor. Yeah. yeah it's not dry. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like moist and soft. Like chicken Mm-hmm. Serving suggestions, batter and pan fry. Bonus footage. Chicken is wonderful. I'm actually a meat eater and I have to say that this to me texturally and flavor, the profile of it, tastes unbelievable. You would really not know this wasn't chicken. It's really great. Great job. Thank you. I am currently a meat eater. I'm an omnivore, but this tasted so good. It, I would definitely eat it again. Um, I really could not tell the difference between a chicken tender and this texturally and the seasoning made me think of chicken parmesan. That's what it tasted like to me. Very good. Delicioso. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all know what? People love this and Audrey's living life because she is team okra forever. Look at what happened. XDMC says, it's yours. Please give my win to Audrey. Definitely, Audrey. Uh, go to our website and go to the winner's circle, fill out our winner's form. That way you can get, we can get your information to Darrell of Chef Joseph's Kitchen and set up your free consultation. Absolutely. Y'all know David Hunt was looking at my measurements, my measurements, measurement, a couple more cups. Look, y'all, trash can talking about me. Tomorrow, it's a chicken salad with all that stuff in there. It was delicious. It and is, yes, it team it, okra forever. Go ahead, yeah, Corey. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Like I said, we, you know, whenever she makes it, it just gets inhaled and can't wait to try it with some kick sauce. Absolutely. G Mama Grows is congratulating Audrey's Living Life. Love and Live Show says the chicken strips look good. Trust me, they were. Yes, Audrey's Living Life. Claim your prize right there. Click that and uh, click that link that Gail at Night has put in there. Blindguyhiswife.com forward slash broadcast. XDMC says, this kick sauce is kicking. You don't know what you're missing. You can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Oh, mm, who's mm, next? Mm, who's mm, next? Who's mm, next? Mm, <laughs> mm. Uh, trash can. Uh, Adrian Ash, because she's saying nice. Hey, Ryan. Oh, oh, well, just, well, just, just finish it up, Corey. We, we got right. the time. We got to close the show. Do it again, do it again. All right. Uh, let the okra go free. You don't need to put that in the pot. That's David Hunt. That I'm around, but I mean, you know, he, okay. Yeah, yeah, he got it. Go ahead. Say, he said what he said again. Oh, okay. Do XDMC, then do Davis, then I'll finish it off. Oh, okay, sure. This kick sauce is kicking. You don't know what you're missing. You can't stand the heat. Then get out of the kitchen. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Let the okra grow free. You need to put it in the pot. Yes, you do. And you're talking with some sauce that's hot. It's coming straight from the it's coming straight from Chef Joseph's kitchen. Jack guaranteed to get every meal you got kicking. It'll get you flowing on Friday. No, Friday we're talking about natural value. Get you, get you flowing in your juices. That's why we're gonna have to say deuces. <laughs> that was the deuces cipher, y'all. We thank you for joining us again. Join us tomorrow as we talk about how you can use rebrandly to mm. brand your business on a deeper level with creating your own custom links. And on Friday, you're gonna, you're gonna make sure we get it in there. 
with the natural Viagra, how you can have a pill-free, healthy sex life. It's gonna be, we're gonna try to keep it PG-13, at least trash can and Adrian and XDMC. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, we want to is blowing. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for joining us and we're gonna say goodbye. The same way that Chef Joseph said goodbye to being homeless on his way to being the I man don't he do is that. Today. I don't do I don't do the heat. I'm sweet and savory. Audrey Lee the okra. It makes you crazy. My flow is off and whack, but that was Philip Waldo's. It was good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, we're gonna say we're gonna say what Chef Joseph with the real of Chef Joseph Kicksaw said when he left homelessness and poverty behind to become the man he is today. He jumped on his motorcycle and that's it. Deuces. Deuces.